what happens is as you're heating this, you might think, oh, I got this all dirty, but the fact of the matter is that carbon from the acetylene disappears at between 450 and 550 degrees. Hi, Mark from the Rock Mount Welding Lab. Uh, one of the things that we specialize in is helping people with difficult welding situations, and one of those can be thicker or heavier pieces of aluminum and outside or out in the environment. So we have our Neptune AAA stick rod. But what happens a lot of times with thicker pieces of aluminum because it's difficult to penetrate is they require us to preheat them. So I'm gonna show you a little trick on preheating aluminum to get it to the proper temperature for welding. This is particularly with thicker pieces of aluminum or aluminum castings, not necessarily thin sheet aluminum. So what you do is you take your oxygen acetylene torch, and you light it with a shoot light that you can also get from Rock Mount. And you just turn on your acetylene, your fuel, so that you get that black curl coming off of it. And then you cover your aluminum with the black. Then you add your oxygen to the flame. What happens is as you're heating this, you might think, oh, I got this all dirty, but the fact of the matter is that carbon from the acetylene disappears at between 450 and 550 degrees. So what it becomes is instead of contamination, it becomes a heat indicator because it completely dissipates as I warm up this aluminum. So as I'm warming this piece up, now this is about a four by four piece and it's about 3 sixteenths thick, so it's a pretty hefty piece. And as you heat it, the carbon just disappears. And like I said, that's around 450 to 550 degrees. Now aluminum, unlike steel, doesn't change color when you heat it, so be careful, because it'll burn you pretty good. And now I'm just going to make a weld with Neptune AAA. Watch your eyes. When you weld with Neptune AAA, you want to use a straighter arm angle and keep your arc really tight. It does leave a slag and you need to let it cool just a little bit so that it'll come off cleanly. And you always want to use a stainless steel brush when you're brushing aluminum so you don't get that carbon contamination in it. It doesn't make as pretty weld as a big weld, but when you're out in the field and you can't have gas shielding, it's great for quick aluminum repairs. Neptune AAA.